Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy, and I'm back again with more information about the Barco EX. No one is perfect, and sometimes mistakes can be made while making connections. The engineers at Barco have included messages in the InventMaster toolset to let you know when something just isn't right. Let's say you've got an E2 and you want to connect an EX, but in a moment of confusion, you accidentally plug into the top link port of the EX instead of the bottom. The toolset displays a message reminding you to use the bottom connector. Once you've made the correction, the toolset will remind you that you forgot to change the unit ID of the EX. You can now instantly change the unit ID from the detected units column. and it gets even crazier. Let's say now you want to add a second EX to the link. You make the connection, but in all the excitement, you forgot to change the unit ID again. Toolset reminds you and you make the change in the discovered units column. But wait, there's more. Let's say some jokester pulls the CXP cable out from your EX. On the tool set, you'll get a red indicator light, as well as the word blinking in green in the bottom right corner. You can then reconnect the CXP and re-establish the link. Then go and find the culprit and give him what for. With all this new expansion capability, it may seem that the world is a cornucopia of endless input and output possibilities. But alas, there, there are, are rules. rules. The specification is a maximum of eight inputs and eight outputs per link connection. So let's say you have two EX units looped on a single link to an E2 or S3. The first unit has two input modules and the second one has one input module and one output module. Eight channels of link are allocated to inputs and those are assigned to the first EX in the chain. The second EX therefore has no link channels available, so the four inputs on that unit cannot be used in the same link. The same would be true if the allocation of inputs and output modules were reversed. The first unit with eight outputs would leave no output channels available for the second EX. A solution would be to put the EXs on separate link outputs from the E2. What if each EX had one input and one output card each? then all the inputs and outputs could be used since four channels of input and output would be allocated to each EX. Here's a bonus for all of you that watched the video so far. In release 4.0, you can now add live thumbnail captures as your source icons. In the programming page, there is a new blue refresh all button. Selecting this will update the icons with live grabs of your sources. Just be aware it may take a moment or two for the images to appear. I'm Tim Cashel with the Evolve Academy. Have a great show, and thanks for watching.